Hello everybody, you're watching Newegg TV. My name's Steve, and today I'm gonna to overview this G1 Gaming Edition GTX 960 graphics card from Gigabyte, model number GVN960G1 Gaming 2GD, featuring the newest Maxwell-based GPU from NVIDIA. All right, so Gigabyte also have other versions of the GTX 960 available. This one, however, is the G1 Gaming version utilizing the WinForce 3X. There's also a WinForce 2X version and a compact version. This video, however, is going to focus on the G1 Gaming Edition GPU that I have right here. But before we get much further, let's chat about the Maxwell-based GPU Gigabyte chose to use in this card. The GTX 960, codenamed the GM206, is the newest Maxwell-based GPU from NVIDIA. Some of the features on this GPU include H.265 or HEVC decoding and encoding. However, the 970s and 980s already have H.265 encoding available. There's also HDCP 2.2 over HDMI, as well as Voxel Global Illumination, or VXGI, and a more efficient version of standard anti-aliasing accelerated with Maxwell, called MFAA, or Multi-Frame Sampled Anti-Aliasing. There's also Dynamic Super Resolution, GameStream, GameWorks, G-Sync, DirectX 12, and something that I keep forgetting to mention to you guys, and that's VR Direct, which is basically the result of NVIDIA's work with Oculus and other VR-related companies in an effort to reduce the latency involved with head tracking. All right, that's enough about the GPU. Let's open up the box and actually look at the card. Let's start with the accessories. First up, we have the quick guide that'll help you with installation of this particular video card. On top of that, they're also providing you with the driver's disc and some software on there as well, including uh, Gigabyte's OC Guru 2, although I recommend going to Gigabyte's website and getting the newest version and downloading it directly from them, as well as going to NVIDIA's website and picking up the newest drivers for the GTX 960 card. And they're also providing you with two of these uh, four pin Molex to six pin PEG power connectors, allowing you to use an uh, older power supply possibly to power this particular graphics card. All right, and finally on to the GTX 960 G1 Gaming Edition from Gigabyte. Now you can see that the card itself has primarily a black look to the entire finish, including a black PCB. Uh, but more importantly, we do actually have a full backplate here on the back, uh, including a G1 Gaming logo that obviously looks upside down to you guys. Let me spin that back around again. Uh, but aside from that, this is the card, and it's quite substantial because of this WinForce 3X cooler on it. It's, it's, it's much heavier than you'd anticipate. I mean, the PCB itself actually ends right here, the rest of that being a fin array for those heat pipes. But anyways, moving right along, uh, as you can see, the card itself looking very nice. Uh, full metal backplate, full metal shroud for the WinForce cooler. Uh, we have some Phillips head screws that you'd need to uh, remove here in order to be able to take off the cooler as well as the backplate should you decide to do that and go for a more extreme cooling solution than this already extreme uh, cooling solution, the WinForce 3X cooler. Uh, like I mentioned, it is a black metal shroud. Uh, looks to be three 80 millimeter fans, uh, all with a unique blade design, improving cooling capacity with less air turbulence. Uh, there, are, there is also a pair of fan LED indicators uh, up here at these two locations, one uh, saying silent, the other one saying stop, and they will uh, actually indicate when they light up to let you know that the fans should not be spinning. Uh, now, if this light is off, then they should be spinning. So that's really the only time you ever have to worry. If the light is off and they're not spinning, you have a problem. And you can contact Gigabyte uh, for support on that should your card ever have that issue. Uh, now, they're also including uh, fan stop mode, which is a new fan curve where the fans themselves will spin when the GPU power is above 60 watts or GPU temp of over 62 degrees C. The fans will stop spinning when the GPU's power is under 32 watts and the GPU temp is below 43C. So both of those things need to happen for the fans to actually stop running. But then it would be running in passive mode where uh, the, the actual heat sink itself with those uh, four six millimeter pure copper heat pipes are actually doing all the cooling passively for you. Uh, it is contacting the GPU via a direct heat pipe touch. Uh, that actually helps it to dissipate the heat through those heat pipes much more efficiently, as well as the power that this card is going to use. Here, if I spin it around, you can see the two different six-pin peg power connectors. Uh, Gigabyte are recommending a 400-watt PSU at a minimum. Uh, that power is being forced through a six-phase power design uh, for stable, clean power for overclocking. 
Uh, if, I, if I spin it around here to the back of the card and, and direct your attention up here to the SLI finger, it is uh, missing its twin, and that's because it's two-way only in this particular design. Down at the very bottom, we also have the PCI Express Gen 3 interface. I want to tell you guys a little bit about the specs of this card because that's probably why most of you are watching. Uh, it has 1,024 CUDA cores, 64 texture units, 32 ROP units, a stock base clock on the stock unit of 1126 and 1178 boost, but this one is factory overclocked to 1241 MHz and 1304 MHz respectively to their core and boost clocks. Also, 2 GB of GDDR5 memory, a memory clock at 7,010 MHz and 128-bit memory interface, giving a total memory bandwidth of 112.16 gigabytes per second. Now I'm going to spin it around to the front and show you the outputs here. Uh, Gigabyte are using the Flex Display, that's their technology that they are going to have patented here fairly soon. And it basically automatically selects the outputs uh, uh, that are being used, up to a total of four. Uh, obviously there's a total of six. Uh, outputs here, but most important is probably to draw your attention to these three inputs. So we have two display port here and one DVI-D or DVI digital uh, only out. And of these these three, you can either use the two display ports or one of these two display ports and it will disable the use of the DVI connector here or you can use this DVI connector and it will disable the use of these two. But aside from that, this display port out, this HDMI out, as well as this DVI-I out all three will work no matter what. All right, everybody, that is going to wrap up this overview of the G1 Gaming Edition of the GTX 960 from Gigabyte featuring the WinForce 3X cooler. Thank you guys so much for watching, and if you liked the video, click the like button, and until then, we'll see you guys in the next video.